Hello everyone, how are you doing? We are rushing to the shelter because remember the other day that we were there taking a pictures of some puppies that they have for adoption? And if you are following us in the social media, maybe you saw the pictures. They are adorable puppies, just so precious. And in fact, one of them has already an adopter. And when we called to the shelter to inform that and see what we can do for pick up him and deliver him, but the shelter told us that all of them wake up this morning so sick, and especially one of them is so, so sick. So in this moment, we are rushing to the vet, as I said, to pick up all of them, take him to the vet and take care of all of them because we really want today feel better to be able to be adopted because as I said one of them has already an adopted and we are sure that all of them can find a perfect family for all so let's do this we rushed for the shelter as soon as we could but rush hour caught us and it took us about two hours to get there once at the place, they told us that two of them, but especially one, Pekas, were the worst off. In fact, they even thought of euthanizing Pekas if he continued like this. They had contacted to another shelter to take the entire litter, since the puppies were not safe here, as the conditions were not adequate and they could be infected with some type of disease as it probably would have happened to Pekas. The problem was that they couldn't take the puppies to the other shelter until two days later. So we went to get them out of there as soon as possible. On the way back home, we also stopped by to pick up Ivis. Do you remember her? You saw her in the video of Captain, in which he debuts his brand new wheelchair. We managed to find her a nice family, but before handing her over, we had to spay her. So we took advantage of the trip to bring her home and neuter her the following day. But I will tell you more in detail in another video. Today, our main stars are the puppies. Once at home, we kept Pekas separate from the rest because we didn't know if he had any complicated disease that he could pass on the rest of the puppies. So until we did the necessary tests, Pekas would be in isolation. We put some soft puppy food on them that we got at a Walmart on the way because it was too late and the beds were already closed. And we also cleaned them with some wet wipes since they came very, very dirty. And also fleas. Some of them were infested. Poor babies. So we spent a good while going through them and getting all the fleas we could. We tried to keep Pekas as hydrated as possible because he had been vomiting and had diarrhea for a long time. So he must have been quite dehydrated and he had not wanted to drink water after eating. So we gave him some water with serum with a syringe. Always under the watchful eye of Ivis, who did not want to miss a single detail of everything that was happening. an improvised child park for the puppies using our sofa and the carrier in which we brought Baloo from Spain, which is pretty big, and Ivis was crazy about them. She wanted to go in there and start playing with everyone, and they also seemed to want to play with Ivis, but we thought it would be better to play with some toys. Ivis is very big and a little rock, and we wanted to avoid scares, or at least for the moment. The 
truth is that Ivy's behaved very well. She respected them a lot and resisted the desire to enter the child park because she could have jumped in quickly. The next morning, the healthy puppies woke up shitty, peed, and hungry as if they hadn't eaten in a month. So we fed them all, especially our special patient, Pekas, to whom we brought breakfast in bed. He was like a king. Then we went up everyone except Pekas to the terrace so they could stretch their legs for a while and we could clean up all the mess of the room that they left us. So we put Mocha as babysitter and she was happy. With so much puppies to play with, she didn't even know which one to start with. The idea was to take Pekas to the vet for a full checkup. However, Manchas also had a couple of soft poops, so we decided to take him to the vet too. We took the car and set out on our way to a double veterinary appointment. After ruling out parvo, which was what we were most worried about, and the warming bath puppies, they prescribed us a series of medications and special food to try to control that intestinal mess that both of them had. So we bought a lot of cans of soft digestive food, which were very expensive by the way, and as well as some powders that we had to put on their food twice a day and a syrup that is also taken twice a day. We will control them for four days and let's see how things go. Mm. As you may have noticed, we have seven dogs from the shelter at home right now. Captain, who is already doing his weekly physiotherapy, thanks to you by the way. Ivas, who we just neutralized and who will be sent to her adoptive family as soon as she recovers. And this litter of five puppies, of which two of them are in need of treatment to get them ahead. So please, I beg you to lend us a hand. With realizing it, we are covering more and more, so each time we need more and more your help. I leave you in the description of the video the link to our Patreon page, our main support platform, where you can choose the level of support you want to offer us, and where very soon we will start uploading exclusive content to all our Patreons. We are still shaping it and thinking about what kind of content we were going to post there, but the truth is that without the support of our Patreons, we couldn't be doing any of this. And we really want to be nice with you and giving a kind of a gift. Pamper yourself as you pamper us and therefore the needy animals. And if you just don't want to create a Patreon account or you just prefer to use PayPal, which is more famous platform, 
you can do it too. You can also find below in the description of the video the link to our donation profile on this well-known platform where you can also choose the level of support you prefer to give us. Do it one time or how you will help us the most on a monthly basis, like Patreon. But keep in mind that in PayPal, we cannot offer exclusive content because unlike Patreon, PayPal is not a platform designed for that purpose. However, we also think something to be able to give a kind of a gift to our donors in PayPal too. And well, waiting for the babies to get better, which we will be telling you as soon as we know, I said you goodbye. Not without first reminding you that if you like the video, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. It will help us a lot to continue growing this beautiful community. Also, please leave your comments. It is always a pleasure to read them and see you very soon.